All right, today we're going to start our equations and lines. We're going to start kind of baby steps here. We're going to do slope first. Um, slope is something you did a lot in Algebra 1, and you'll continue to see this in all your math classes from here on out. So slope of a line. The slope of a line, M, is how we denote slope. Um, two points. We have coordinates usually. In order to find it, there's a couple different ways we can do it. You have the formula, which is kind of the main way. Slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay. It can also be expressed as the change of y divided by the change of x or rise over run. Like I said before, you're most likely going to be using this formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're just going to do a lot of practice here. So the first example, it says, uh, we're going to find the slope of each line, and they give us a picture. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a picture, and I'm going to show you how to do it with, like, the actual formula itself. So line P, here is line P. Okay. So you're going to start at the point that's on the left side of that graph. So the left point is right here, that negative 2. Negative 2, I'm going to zoom in here for a second so we can see this a little better. All right, and then you're going to go to the point that's on the right-hand side, so that 1, 2. You're going to figure out how. So you're going to do your rise over your run first. So I think I go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So I rise 4, and I run 1, 2, 3. Okay, so my rise was 4, and my run was 3. So my slope would be my rise of 4, my run of 3, 4 thirds. Okay, let's try this with line Q. So here is line Q. Your points you're looking at here, we're looking at the left point first, that negative 3, 2, to my right-hand side, 2. All right, so you're going to do your rise first. For this one, it looks like I have to go down 2. And I'm going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I run 5. So my slope for line Q would be negative 2 over 5. Okay, so that's how you do it graphically. Um, so you can always use that. You can always grab graph paper and plot those points. We're going to practice with actually using the equation as well. So the equation we're going to use is that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So our first coordinates here are negative 2, negative 3, and 3, negative 5. So I have slope equals. If it helps, you can label your points. So it says y2, which is negative 5, minus my y1 value, which is negative 3, over, okay, x2, oops, sorry guys, don't want to do that, x2 is 3, minus my x1 value is negative 2, and from here we're going to do some simplifying. When I have 5 minus a negative 3, that's actually negative 5 plus 3, two negative signs make it positive, and 3 plus 2. So my slope here, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. So my slope is negative 2 over 5 or 2 fifths. What I want you, I want you to pause and try this next one on your own. Okay. Once you try it on your own, then come back and we'll do it as a class. All right, hopefully done it on your own. For a slope here, I would say my y2 value, 3 minus my y1, which is negative 2, over negative 6 minus my 1. This would become 3 plus 2 over negative 6 minus 1. So my slope should be 5 over negative 7. And that would be my slope. Okay, one last one here. So a slope. All right, I have y2, which is 6 minus 2 over negative 1 minus a negative 1. I have slope equals 6 minus 2 is 4. Negative 1 minus a negative 1. That would become negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 plus 1 would be 0. And here's our issue. Can you divide by 0? No. So we would actually call the slope undefined. Okay, so when you get 0 in that denominator, you actually have an undefined slope. All right. Last little bit here. Um, so slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So we have parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Um, an example of parallel lines. Parallel lines will never intersect each other. Right? They go on forever and ever. Whereas perpendicular, they intersect and they actually form a right angle when they intersect each other. So parallel lines have the same slope. OK. 
Okay, so if A and B are parallel and the slope of line A is negative 5 over 2, the slope of line B is going to be the exact same, negative 5 over 2. Perpendicular lines, um, their slopes are not the same. They actually have the opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal. Which means you flip the fraction or that slope and you change the sign. So if line A is negative 5 over 2, the slope of line B, if they are perpendicular, should be 2 over 5. And if it was negative, it's going to be now positive. All right, last problem here. It says, determine if A, B, and C, D, if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So in order that, we have to find their slope. So we're going to find the slope of A, B using those points. All right, and then we're going to find the slope of C, D using those points. So first off, it's line A, B. So we're going to find the slope here. So I'm going to do Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So I've got 5 minus a negative 1 divided by 1 minus a negative 1. That would become 6 over 2, which would simplify to 3 over 1. So here's my first slope. All right, for C and D, we're going to find this slope now. Line C, D. We do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I've got 4 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 1 is 4. 2 over 4 simplifies down to 1 half. All right, so looking at those slopes, if they were to be parallel, they'd have to be the same. Is 3 over 1 the same as 1 half? No, so they're not parallel. If they were perpendicular, they'd have to be the opposite reciprocal of each other, and they're not. So that means our answer is just going to be neither. They're neither parallel 